Hello, this is Dinah Lane from the Harwich Channel. I'm here with Jen Anderson, who's the program specialist at the Council on Aging. And uh, very nice to see you, Jen. Hello, Dinah. I know you have a lot uh, to tell us about, as always, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of things going on with the uh, Yes, seniors. we have uh, March and April, we really just put out a bunch of, um, we had a bunch of um, huge programs and mm, and mm. Uh, April, which we've already had a couple, right? Uh, mm -hmm. We have a few more coming, um, but if I may at least, I hope everyone uh, has maybe seen some of the, the coverage or was able to visit our fashion show in March. It was a uh, standing room only, huge success. I did see. Here. I did see and some I coverage of that. It looked quite fabulous. Yes, people looked like they were having a wonderful time. It was they a great time. Marvelous, didn't they? Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> such such great uh, uh, such a great time. And so between stop and shop and in the seal uh, seal made some amazing donations. Uh, mm. Tim Kelly, the local TV meteorologist, who you, you may have seen, he was our MC. Uh, and so he nice. volunteered and, and it was amazing. And so uh, we just want to give a shout out and thank you to everyone that helped us pull it off because quite an event. It was pretty involved. And uh, but mm -hmm. I think everyone had a spectacular time. Is it something you might repeat in future? We're looking at that. OK. Everyone was still recovering <laughs> from the whole event. For, yes, I know. It's we... too early to ask, I suppose. Right? <laughs> but yes, everyone is people who didn't think they could be models, want to be models. Mm -hmm. uh, people are asking for it wow. to come again. So, oh, so great. We'll so they found new lands. things within themselves. <laughs> exactly. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, so that was a fantastic uh, end to our march. But uh, April is here. We're, we're uh, a couple, couple days in here. And so uh, we have a Parkinson's awareness that April is, is Parkinson's awareness month. Mm. And so we're having an uh, informational program on April 11th at 1 p.m. if you catch this, catch us by then. Uh, but the following week, then we have a scam work, or workshop on April 16th. Scam. Yes. Um, so Officer Pellegrino from the Harwich uh, Police Department mm -hmm. is actually going to be leading that and Great. making it really specific to what's happening on Cape Cod um, mm. regarding to scam-related calls and how you handle that. That'll be very helpful. They it seem to be proliferating. Uh, yes. <laughs> you can never... <laughs> right. yeah. uh, and then always we have our movie night, uh, movie afternoon, the third Friday of April, and mm -hmm. we are um, airing Nyad, which I don't know if mm -hmm. you've heard of, mm -hmm. about that, and yes. uh, thought it was a good connection with the fact that our, at our breakfast this April, we are having Olog, which I don't know if you've heard about them, uh, the old ladies against underwater garbage. I certainly have, yes. <laughs> Very impressed with those people. They're, they're making quite a name for themselves I know. as well. I know. So they're, we're excited to have them in our They're breakfast. a hearty bunch. So, yes, yes they are. And They'll they're be doing here good Friday work. for the men's breakfast and April 26th for the, mm. for the women's. So they'll be speaking? They will. Excellent. Yes, at the breakfast. So if you'd like to come to the breakfast and listen to the presentation, please mm -hmm. just uh, call. As we ask for uh, all of our programs to call to register so we can mm -hmm. plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then just a couple of repeating programs that we've had going on between uh, for tech support, which I think I brought up last month, mm -hmm. but there's the peer tech support. So it's senior to senior yes. where they'll either go to your home or we could do it right here at the COA. Um, and uh, that's been going really well. And we also have the Cape Cod tech students coming here mm -hmm. every Thursday. So they're here for an hour and uh, people can come here with their devices and, and ask for troubleshooting for, exactly, <clears throat> exactly or to get so started been, or whatever they need yes we've had people who wanted to convert bills to auto pay we've had people who want oh, to mm -hmm. figure out something with bluetooth or their email or, or what have you right and the kids have been great it's been a great relationship so that's wonderful that will continue through june through their school year obviously mm -hmm. and we hope to re uh, book that in the fall excellent uh, and then every tuesday i'm leading a walk at 12 30. Out right here on the paved track behind the community mm -hmm. center mm -hmm. and so we uh, just want to get the word out to please come join us hopefully as this weather is now mm. starting to turn a little blip coming but as it gets warmer that will will um, so it's from 12 30 to 1 15 but people mm -hmm. can come just for a lap or the whole time and whatever level that you may mm -hmm. be it's just to be with people and, and get outside and, and get moving Great. And so uh, we've been on the ground. How many laps do you usually try to It's been about do? two. Um, with, with some of the group, one group we had, uh, they were really rocking and rolling, so they were pushing five. Wow. <laughs> but okay. um, I'd say two to three mm -hmm. laps. And uh, my understanding is three trips around is a mile uh -huh. out there. So. Okay. 
one's been pretty good. But uh, no, that's that's some of the highlights in April. We're working on May, June. That mm -hmm. will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. It actually goes to print this week. And so mm -hmm. we have a just a teaser too. We're actually going to be offering our own um, van excursions through the COA. Oh yes, and which are going to include mm -hmm. at least for now a monthly farmers market farmers market trip. To so, different farmers markets? To different markets? farmers markets. So Great. we're starting off in, in Wellfleet in, in Yarmouth. Mm -hmm. And so so they'll be at varying transportation. times they will, based on the they farmers will. market. Most of the ones are, are the mornings, and so we're trying to go mm -hmm. to the ones in the morning. Uh, but those people who would like transportation, uh, it's also a great opportunity to use your SNAP benefits. Ah, but to be able to shop those, and so those are some of the things that we're excited about. Those to are use, usable at the farmers markets. They are. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we'll great. Be, uh, having those kind of launch out as we go, we're starting, starting small and local, and then we'll be branching out with some other things. Um, I think capabilities in Dennis, uh, the French Cable Museum mm. type trips. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. So many ideas, so many things. Yes. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. So we'll have to be getting together very soon again then. I hope so. Because May is, May is going to be coming. Before, here before we know it. Mm -hmm. okay. We have a lot coming in May and June. So, Yes. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Jen. Thanks, Anna. This is Dinah Lane from the Harwich Channel. Thank you so much.